Hi, I'm Joe O'Neill with the North Carolina Solar Center. Today we're here to give you a quick introduction to the scan gauge tool that we'll be using during our fuel economy workshop. So we'd like to show you how to connect and set up the scan gauge. One of the things that you're going to need to know about the particular vehicle you're using is the model year and the engine displacement. Now the easiest way to find this, if you're unaware of it, is to look under the hood of the vehicle. In this particular case, we have a label under the hood of the vehicle, and it's clearly showing us that here we have a 2009 Subaru, and the engine displacement is 2.5 liters. Okay, when we look at the scan gauge unit, we see that we have a cable coming off of it. In this particular case, we're going to use the side connection. It is probably the most convenient, but in some cases, the connection on the back may work better. And we're going to look under the dash of the car, probably somewhere very close to the steering column, you'll find a connector. And that is where we're going to plug in our scan gauge plug. In this case, as I mentioned, just to the right of the steering column and you'll notice that it will only go in one direction. There's no way to put it in backwards, so to speak. So we're going to connect that. And then we want to be careful of rooting our cable in such a way that it's not going to interfere with our driving or interfere with any of the safety equipment in the car. And you'll notice our vehicle is already trying to connect it will get a much clearer connection once the ignition is turned on. When we first connect the scan gauge and turn on the ignition of the vehicle, we're going to get a display looking like that. The first thing we need to do is set it up for the particular vehicles. And that will give us a choice that says set up. When we press set up, the first choice we're going to make is engine. And in this case, it's showing us two and a half liters. If we wanted to adjust that, we could use the left hand button to go down in size. We could use the right hand button to go up in size. In this case, we want to make the choice of two and a half. So we're going to press the save button. The next thing we're going to do is again, choose more. We're going to press set up one more time, and in this case, we're going to choose our fuel type. So we'll press fuel, and then press type, and in this case, it is gasoline, but we do have other choices. We might have a propane vehicle or a hybrid vehicle, a diesel vehicle. There might be a, a choice of diesel fuel that we're using, whether we're using a biodiesel blend or conventional diesel. In this case, we're going to save it as gas. So the only thing we need to do now is press gauge, and we come up with a display that in this case will be the one we're going to use, showing an average fuel economy over an instantaneous fuel economy.